Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. Um, so, we've now played through the game one time, and we had one bad ending, so now the the title page has kind of filled in some characters. We got Adeen in a silhouette, as we got the bad ending for her. And also, this one was Kevin, wasn't it? Because he was like a side story. So, there's obviously going to be some overlap, but I think I can kind of skip the things we've done before. And yeah, let's, let's try for a different ending this time. I'm not sure what character we want to try out next, but let's just see how it goes. Continue your journey, Ushio. Nice, that's me. Okay. Trauma. Chapter 1. Okay, so it looks like we're skipping the introduction area completely, and we're getting straight back to the story, which is, is cool. So there are going to be a few areas that we've done before, but hopefully we can kind of work our way through it. Okay, I work from Uneasy Dreams, looking for an un unfamiliar ceiling. I did wonder, is that an Evangelion reference? I, I don't know. For a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. Yeah, so if you hadn't played this before, basically I've been transported to a new area through a portal. And on the other side of the portal is a, a dragon civilization. Let's, let's skip. Let's go forward. Ooh. Okay, so uh, this is the decision. I've done shake his hand. Don't shake his hand. <laughs> kiss. Let's kiss his hand. When I took his hand into mine, preparing to kiss it, I could feel the individual bumps and scales of his rough skin. Oh my god, I actually kissed his hand. That's weird. Nice to meet you too. Where are you taking me? His face is like, what the fuck did you just do to me, mate? <laughs> Straight to business. Really? Sort of. We're going to visit the plant, where they're making your generators. They must have some news for you, or so I've heard. Reza will be there too. So Reza's like the... Yeah, he's like a crazy human conspiracy theorist type of guy. So, let's resume. This guy's a dickhead. I want to get to the new bits. I want to get to the new bits. Okay, so this is Anna. She asked me if I want to donate blood before I said no. But let's do it this time. Great. This will put us on a different path, so we can investigate that as well. She was quick to produce a small device from a drawer, from which a glance reminded me a lot of a test tube. If you give me your hand, please. As I reached out to her, she shook my hand into hers. Before she pressed the device into the back of my hand, I winced as pain jolted through my hand. Something sharp drove itself through my skin, and shortly afterwards, a droplet of blood was sucked into the tube, attached to the small needle. Cool, thanks for that. You're welcome. You just stabbed me. Come on. I've got an achievement for that, so it's worth doing. Looks like your PDA is good, by the way. So we're just about done here. And since we're both in biology, it could be interesting if you want to meet me sometime as well. Here's my number. Alright. Yeah, I didn't take her number before. I didn't get this far. And she got murdered. <laughs> so this is going to be a new thing. Okay, that was interesting. Did she ask for your blood too? Yeah. Did you give it to her? Yeah. Oh well, your choice. Got no idea what they might do with it though. I'm getting hungry. How about some breakfast? Let's go get some food. My records indicate that you've already experienced this section in a satisfactory manner. If you wish, you could skip the sections like these, which you have already cleared before. No need to read everything again. Isn't that great? That's really good for a novel, visual novel, where you have to play everything multiple times. Skipping areas you've done before is very good. How is this different from just using the skip buttons like control and tab you might ask? Here's the deal. Using the skip buttons can be tedious, especially when encountering puzzles you've already solved before or when faced with long dialogue trees. Sometimes it's just easier to jump over a whole section speeding up, you know. So during relevant sections I'll come in and ask if you don't want to just outright jump ahead. Sound good. Anyway, there are times when you might still want to choose not to jump ahead like this and use the skip buttons as usual, that's totally fine. Both methods have their own advantages and disadvantages. Jumping ahead will often skip minor choices that can be made, especially during character sections with lots of dialogue options. This can include parts that would unlock new achievements. However, jumping ahead will never skip important choices that you make, such as those that could result in good endings or the choices you make during your investigations. Up to you. Okay. Okay, so here we are. This is, this is the new stuff. I'll get the afternoon to myself, and I can go and hang out with a couple of characters who I haven't done before. Sebastian, that's new. 
Order some lunch, you get a Dean. We we know a Dean. Uh, Lorraine, we've never spoken to, nor have we done Anna. We know Remy and Bryce a little bit. But let's go Sebastian, because he's, he's a cool character. Yo, Sebastian, this is Ushio. He hung up. Oh. You're still here. I'm still on the clock, you know. Well, I'm glad you take my security seriously. Just doing my job, sir. Don't call me sir. Sorry, my bad. I haven't actually seen a human in flesh and blood before today, so it's kind of hard to tell. Actually, I meant you don't have to be so formal. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Don't be formal. Okay, let's be bros. Anyway, do you need anything? It's just, it's pretty boring when I have to spend the day all my own. I don't really know anyone here yet, so I don't know where I could go or what I can do for fun. Well, if it were earlier, I could have shown you around town and given you the tour, but it's getting dark outside. I think that's most places would be closed by now. Let me think about it. Do you like being outdoors? Uh, yeah. Me too. See, we got shit in common. Um, what do you think about camping? You want to go camping like right now? Well, it might not be my best idea, but I'm not sure there's much else we could do at this time. Would it even be okay for us to just like leave and go? I'm supposed to be guarding you, you know, technically I'm still on the clock, but camping would be much more fun than just staying inside and me guarding your door, don't you think? Besides, I'm supposed to accompany you wherever you go. You're not our prisoner, so of course you're free to go wherever you want. If you want to spend the night outside and experience the countryside, not only could I not stop you, but I'd be obligated to come with you. What do you say? Cool. Sign me up. Let's go camping. Alright, sure. Let me grab a few things. Okay. Let's go camping with the dragon. With these boxes. Here we are. I'm surprised we even got a spot this late after what you told me. With a member of the police force and someone who is as important as you are, it's not really surprising. They probably regard it as an honour to be hosting us. So this is it, you know, no tent, no nothing like that. Our tent camping would be a bit more complicated to set up at the last minute. Is there any other form of camping? What you're seeing here is cave camping. Essentially, they run like hostels, but you sleep in caves like this one. Well, at least we've got some furnishing. Could use a few sleeping bags, though. If you wanted a comfy bed, you should have stayed at home. This is the real deal. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Yep, yeah, just us and nature. We even have some natural lighting in here. So much for real deal. We could just sit in the dark if you prefer it, pal. <laughs> nah, this is fine. Have you ever gone camping before? Uh, No, this is the first. Let's make it a good one then. You know, I was kind of nervous when I met you for the first time. Yeah, I could totally tell. He was stammering this one. It was quite a thing to hear that humans were going to visit our world. When I met you and it turned out you were just an ordinary person, it really threw me off. Did you meet Riza before? Actually, no. Everything about your visit is clouded in secrecy. I didn't get to hear much about Riza from Maverick before I met you. Gotcha. So, are you one of those who expected me to act in a certain way just because I'm a human? Actually, that didn't have much to do with it. Any high profile guest would have made me nervous, especially if I was in charge of keeping them safe. Also, I happen to be the newest guy on the force, so I didn't exactly want this to turn into a career ender right there and then. Uh, doing a great job so far. The whole murder situation going on, you should be careful. Wow. Better hope these walls aren't going to cave in then. Okay, let's, let's be cool about it. You're doing fine. I'll do my best. I'm sure of it. i got to be easy on this guy. In the last route, this guy got killed. You know, I feel really bad. You've got to be a bit nicer to him. Alright, how long have you been on the force? They didn't sign the rookie to me, did they? Just because I'm the newest guy doesn't mean I'm a rookie. It's been a few years now. I suppose that means you don't get many new recruits. Not here at the very least. This is a small town, so we don't really need them all that often. I got lucky when I got this position, because I figured there'd be more competition from the locals. Locals, you don't live here then. I live here now, but I actually grew up in a small farming village that's mostly consisted of runners like me. Runners? Yeah, that's what just we call our species sometimes. We've got powerful legs. I can see that, alright. Are there many villages where the inhabitants are mostly of the same species? For sure, it's mostly smaller ones though, because the bigger they get, the more variety you'll find. I only have my hometown to compare. From what I've heard, there are other villages that are fairly similar. They can only survive like that 
if they lead much simpler lives or if they focus on a certain industry that species is good at. So your species is good at farming then? Better than the earth dragons at least, even though they come in handy in pulling the ploughs. Why did you decide to become a police officer? I just wanted to see what's out there beyond their vegetable fields and if whatever was there was like the stories that I'd heard. And is it? Oh yeah, it's been great. Now that you mention it, I don't really know much about this town either. Well, what, what do you want to know? Uh, the land or the people? People. They're a friendly bunch for the most part. Of course, I meet some unpleasant fellows in my line of work, but luckily, they seem to be in the minority. There was also a bit of a culture shock when I initially came here, with all the different species here living together, but my police training took care of that. What's it like to work for Bryce? Tell me. Give me the gossip. He kind of took me under his wing when I come here, and I've been working with him ever since, pun not intended. I found it a bit weird that the big shot himself had to show the country bumpkin in the ropes though. I thought we saw it as a challenge, although he wanted to scare me away, but honestly he's been great. Everyone here trusts him. Okay. Tell me about the land. I hear they have fertile soil, not as fertile as my hometown though. It's talking more about if they're any sort of industry. Oh, see, this town's actually quite unique, because even though it's fairly small, it has its own production facility. With that, we basically have all our own full production chain. So your one factory is everyone's pride and joy. In a way, yeah, it kind of makes us fairly independent and keeps everything local. Got the local people. Uh, what's it like having so many species on the force? Compared to my hometown, it's been a, an interesting change. On one hand, you get all kinds of different people and all kinds of different strengths, abilities and backgrounds that can make your work a lot easier. On the other hand, it also creates all kinds of new problems that I never would have expected. I won't forget the first time I had to follow a shoplifter who also happened to be a flyer. Okay, special recommendations and secrets. Tell me the secrets. Secrets? This town doesn't really have any secrets. Aha, uh -huh, there's always secrets. Not that I know of, then they're good secrets. Maybe you don't belong to the inner circle. <laughs> I think as a member of the police force, I get to see everything there is to see. Either way, I don't think there's anything that special about our town, apart from the portal. But hey, I'm not the one who's been new here. What are your impressions, good, bad or ugly? Uh, hectic. Fun so far, apart from the murder, don't worry about that. That's not some something I'd expect you to say after we showed you a corpse on the first day, or was that a mistake? Uh, let's go back. Rewind. Alright, it's been a bit hectic. That is understandable with everything that's going on. I didn't realise if you just wheel the mouse, you can kind of back backwards. Good. Maybe it's a good thing that most places were closed. I'm not sure if I would have enjoyed any more sightseeing much. I suppose you're just not a runner like I am. We don't mind staying on our feet. I'm not sure it was a good idea for Bryce to take you to the crime scene though. I know he's a hands-on kind of guy, but that was a bit much. Pun not intended. If you need my help, I'm glad to give it. Fostering goodwill and all that. Well, at least you don't seem to be traumatised. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Anyway, how about some fun? What you got? I bought some playing cards. A staple for any camping trip. Have they got the same rules as us? What are we playing? A Bastion Breach. Ever heard of it? Uh, no. We often play it on the break room to pass time. Good fun, though things can get quite heated sometimes. Let's play the rules. What? We're gonna play a game? Oh shit! As you can see, each of us starts with all cards of a given suit in their hands. You're diamonds, and I'll be hearts. Okay. You've got my heart already, what the fuck, is that so? Anyway... Point. What you see in the centre is the middle row which is a line of shuffled cards from another suit. It's got the clubs. This way, each game is going to be unique since the middle row always changes between games. This is how the game works. We each play a round for each card in the middle row, starting with the one you see at the very left. So it's a five, okay. Whoa. During each round, we can both decide which card to play and put it face down. Once we have both played a card, we flip them over. The highest card wins the round, and whoever played it gets a point. To clarify, two is the lowest card, and the king is the highest. Ace is special. It beats every card face card, but will lose against any number card. Okay, so it will beat jack, queen, king, but nothing else. 
Okay, the card from the middle row also counts, so it's possible that neither of us will get the point for a round. If there's a tie, no clear winner between the three cards or the middle row has the highest card. No player will get a point for the round. However, the next round will give the winner an extra point to make up for it. Well, at the end, the player with the most number of points wins the game. I kind of get it. Did you get all that? More or less. This, this just play. I don't know. This game is all about bluff and mind games. We can always see what cards have been played, so each of us knows exactly what the other player has left. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Take all the time you need to make your selection. Round one. Card games, let's do it. Ah, uh, five. Makes for an interesting start. You could try to surpass it and play something higher, but if I'm going to do the same, you don't know how high I would go to not only beat the five, but your higher card as well. Alternatively, you could count on me trying to beat the higher card and play a low one instead. That's making me waste mine. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Uh, If I just played low, I could force it. And then I'll get the high ones toward the end of the game, wouldn't I? Go low. I'll play the lowly too, just to see what would happen. Getting to know your opponent and their tendencies is just as important as analysing potential moves and strategies. A tyre. I guess we both tried to do the same thing. Yes. Round two. Okay, the king presents us with an interesting conundrum, especially when getting in early when most cards are still available. I'll let you figure this one out though. So, it either needs to be a king, or s no, an ace or trumpet, but I don't want to waste my ace, do I? Let's go low. Three. See, we both, looks like it's a tyre. Of course, the only card that beats it is the ace, but playing it here would be a rookie mistake. It's definitely a safer play just to get rid of a low card here. Round three. I've played hearts. I've got the general idea. Okay, it's a six. No more instructions. It's down to us. Shall I throw this one? Four. Yeah, my point. All right, he's got his first point. Round four. It's a ten. D -d 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 -d. What do I want? Jack? Just do it. Oh, bastard. Don't worry, you can still win. Can I? Can I, though? Okay. Give me your king. Gotcha. Yeah. Ace? I don't even know what an ace does. Five. Not looking too good for me. No, it's not. It really isn't. This guy's got a king in hand, so I'm going to use my ace. This is the halfway point, so now it's going to get serious. Anyone can win. Can it? Can I? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. What? I'm totally losing. Alright, let's just go for the... This guy's still got a king, I think? See, he's just taking everything, isn't he? What's he got left? So he's got like the middle cards now, hasn't he? If you're lucky and he's got like a five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, that's what he's got left. So if I go reverse, should I go reverse? Yeah, so that was his highest card. So now he's got six, seven, eight left. Uh no, he's got five, six, seven, my bad. Five, six, seven. No, he's just got five and six. It doesn't matter what I play, I can't win it. And then give me the last one. That's it. How did we do? I lost. Bastard. Yeah, I noticed. I guess I can't help it, I'm just that good. You beat someone who played for the first time ever. Congratulations. Maybe poor sport. Maybe you'll win next time, if there's ever such a thing. No, I want to play again. Okay, so here we go. I think I should probably make a note because I think he does the same thing each time. Here we go. This sh this should work. This should work. I think I've got him. But yeah, if you want to make a note, I think he does the same pattern each time. So you can kind of work it out for yourself. Screen cap that. That's all good. That's it. Seems like you won, fair and square. Of course I went easy on you. You know that, right? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. 
you won and I got an achievement for that so it was worth cheating and going back <laughs> I'll put these away cool no rematch maybe some other time it's getting a bit late now if you say so hey maybe next time you could teach me a human card game sure no problem Maybe we should get some sleep now. I imagine it will be just as busy tomorrow as it was today. And let's not forget, I have to get up early to report all about this. Don't leave out the part where I totally beat you. <laughs> you wish. Alright. We're pals now. How'd you like your better rocks? Uh, it's alright. Alright, good night. <laughs>